No, I like the way this matchup's starting. Yeah, some good sportsmanship, or <laughs> maybe not. Now's no time for sportsmanship. These two want to tear each other apart. It was just a handshake. Byron, is this what you would consider mind games? Well, it sure seems like it. And this is how we greet you every day. Well, this match is underway, but as we just saw, there's clearly a lack of respect between these superstars. Mind games are definitely at play here, gentlemen. Getting into your opponent's head, making them question every step and move they make, that's why you do something like that. Yeah, you cannot deny how even the smallest change in game plan can have long-lasting effects as the match continues. Gunther quick to the counter. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Boom! Just hot shot it to the outside. So, uh, how do you prepare for an opponent like Gunther? Uh, I don't know. Go a few practice. Up high! Good lord! Taking flight! Just crashing down with high impact! Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Momentum has completely shifted to Dominic. Gunther being met with offense worthy of the ring general. Someone came to fight. Knew what was coming there. Toss back into the ring. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Ooh, right on the throat. Ugh. Just dominating their opponent now. Gunther falling victim to a surge of attacks here. We're seeing a very decisive Dominic right now. Gunther showing he's not out of it. Gunther could be turning his fortunes around. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Oh! Loving blow. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Oh, stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly... Gunther wants to finish this. Powerbomb. It's all Gunther's for the taking. He's still in this fight. Somehow, someway, escapes defeat. Still alive. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. Escapes with a knee to the gut. What a crossbody. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker textbook. Oh, he knew what was coming. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Sorry. Dominic able to avert that. Powerless position to be in right now. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Lands the cross body. Some time. Ah! And he's out of there in a nick of time. He's heading back to the ring. Ah, Dominic gets cut off. Elbow throw saying not today. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissors. Setting foot in the ring now. Oh! Flopping blow. His opponent is just... What a tap. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Dropping the knee. Going way up high. Perched up top. Here's a cover! Could be it. Man, that has got to feel good. 
sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Gonta! Fueled by the disrespect shown to them before the bell, you can't deny that it gave them a bit of an edge in this one, an edge that drove them to come out on top. Who knows, maybe this win will grant them the respect that was clearly denied of them earlier. Hopefully that's not still weighing on their mind. They just won. That's all that matters in the long run. Big time trash talking here. The official is going to ring the bell and we're underway. Oh, oh goodness. my goodness. The official's been laid out. This is not the way to kick things off. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there's no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Springboard off. He got whipped into that corner. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. He reverses it. That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their submissions. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Ooh, treading all over their opponent. That's mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Corey, where do you think Carl Anderson's head? Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Oh, a right hand for good measure. And Xavier was he looking too thrilled there. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh! He'll head to the ring. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up! Great wherewithal to beat the count. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Just thinking big here. Up high. Whoa! What a landing! Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Boom! Right across the small of the back. Into the ring again. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. Woods just took a shot that has painted his face with a crimson mask. And Carl Anderson is getting the crowd going. He's taking this to the floor now. He steps foot in the ring again. That was a long 
two count there. Oh, perfect kick. Woods finds an opening. Setting up. Suplex. Back body drop. Oh, kick connects. What a barrage of stomps. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Bang. Snap suplex. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, as Woods knows how to use the fact that his opponent might be underestimating him again. Carl gets jolted by the counter. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick. He turns it around. Whip back into the ring. Spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves. Cover! And a kick out at two! What an incredible match we are witnessing. And the knee. Shot after shot. Ooh, ruthless striking. Looking to take flight here. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Up high! Wow! Cross body! Xavier Woods with serious reason for concern. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch! Xavier Woods locking the top rope! Is it enough to overcome Anderson? Two count. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Xavier Woods. Despite less than legal efforts to defeat them, they are standing tall now. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia. Indy Hartwell! Been successful her entire 
career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. Here comes Gigi Dolan. A truly confident and passionate competitor. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She made a name for herself as a tag team competitor in NXT. Now on her own, but just as dangerous, has something to prove. Yeah, despite being underestimated and underappreciated, Gigi Dolan plans to change that perception. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. If asked to sum up Indy Hartwell in one word, I think most people would go with impressive. Her combination of skill, power, and determination is really something. You also have to respect the heart Indy Hartwell brings to her game. She doesn't let obstacles discourage her or make her lose sight of her goals. She keeps chasing after her dreams. Indy Hartwell looking to remain impressive with her performance in this match. Gigi Dolan's a dangerous competitor, though. You can't look past her. Maybe not the most reliable friend in the world, but really, who is? Dolan is just as loyal as her friends are, Corey. She would go to war for them, and she would also go to war for herself. And tonight is Gigi's war. Oof! Where's the haymaker? She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Impressive reversal there. She's pushed into the corner. Big boot! Incredible. Big form. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Able to avoid there. Vicious knee. Reversal from Hartwell. Oh, reversal catches Hartwell. Beautiful athleticism. Ah, uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Indy Hartwell is capable of. Is that going to be too much for her opponent to handle here tonight? Well, by all means, Hartwell's a powerhouse, but she's not the most experienced competitor on the roster. A smart opponent will exploit that. She got her down. Is this it? Gets the shoulder up. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Uh-oh. Stretch. There is a fine line between strain and pain. Time for her to go home. Oh, no, wait a minute. She kicks out in one. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Ooh. Hit the rope. Oh, brutal oh. knee to the side of the face. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Ooh. 
Well measured. Things not going how she'd like. Indy is not going to squander an opportunity when it presents itself. And we just saw that. Reverse DDT. Caught with that sharp elbow. Dolan just mocking her opponent here. She's back just in time. Thank goodness I did not want to count out. Oh, for the arm bar and up. Just stretching out the arm. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least a pinched nerve. Just tearing away on the shoulder here. Aggressive work on that shoulder. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. From the top. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. And momentum is slipping away from Indy. Hartwell's opponent showing the rope. Gigi Dolan has her opponent up. Oh, my. The Gigi driver. Dolan landed that perfectly. Now she kicked out. Her perseverance is unreal. Preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. Is there still enough left to try that maneuver again? Or is her confidence shaken? Hammerlock DDT. Indy absolutely remorseless after delivering that depth. They got their eyes locked on their opponent. Oh, oh, to the neck. Dolan's got to dig deep now. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? Reversal! Catch! Oh, nice takedown. Going to spin them over and finish cinched in his deep. Trying to break the submission, and she does. Oh, face first. Working on the way. Turns it around. Soul the foot meets the... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? Can she hold on? This is absolute. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched it. And here we go. Single leg crab. Wearing that area down here. Uh oh, the end. Gotta find a way out of the single leg Boston crab. Oh, wow. Look at this incredible effort to get out. Self tonight. Here is your winner, Indy Hartwell. And Indy Hartwell is obviously celebrating this win. Dolan defeated for now, but this is a woman who knows how to pick herself up.
the valedictorian of the Alpha Academy, the big man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Oh, some would say Otis used to be an inspiration. Now he could not be less interested in the WWE Universe. He may not be interested, but Otis is inspired. Inspired to annihilate you, to end you with one move. That's the kind of power possessed by this man. Man, Otis is an amazing mass of humanity. He could probably crush any man in that ring. Well, this man looks to massacre who's ever in front of him. Alpha Academy is in session. And his partner, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. A true master inside the ring and would do anything hey. to reach Byron. the pinnacle. Byron. Yes. Shoosh. Stop. Why stop doing that, Corey? Thank you. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. It's less about ability and more about attitude, Corey. I just have a hard time taking them seriously, and so do their opponents. Detroit has seen it all over the years, guys, and I'd say this match will likely be right up there with some of the best. Getting set up for something in the corner. Boom! Off the boot. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Vicious right forearm. Solid punch. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Oh, that'll leave a mark. And Jimmy able to reverse that. Kick to the gut. <laughs> He's got him down. Is this it? No shoulders up at two. Somehow, some way. Super kick. Otis was just a step slow. 
flying forearm. Otis avoids that one. There he goes, right into the corner. Have you ever seen it? This could be it. Cover. No, he kicks out. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Stiff headbutt. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. Here he goes for the win. He narrowly avoids the count. He got close there. It could be do or die time.
And it's Jimmy Uso leading the team to victory here tonight. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. It's Miz and Misses. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by are such a wonderful couple because they have so much in common. Title reigns, reality television success, being beautiful. Here's another thing they have in common, Corey. They won't shut up about it all. Why would you shut up about that? These two even tag together at WrestleMania. It's Ugh. truly a beautiful love story. I wish you'd shut up about it. Here comes pure Irish trouble. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough! Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. And it's go time right here for the Miz. The time to pat himself on the back is over. Now he has to be ready to fight. Well, if you ask me, the Miz looks ready. And we know when the A-lister's in the building, greatness follows him wherever he goes. Take away the red carpet glitz and leading man look, and the Miz is a dangerous competitor who knows how to take complete control of a match and tear down his opponent. But J.D. McDonough is always focused, always in control, and you cannot overlook him. The way this man moves around the ring is like an advanced course in precision. Everyone better take notes. 
Miz is a great tactician, and I'm sure he already has a game plan, but I wouldn't mind seeing him being a bit more aggressive tonight. Remind people exactly why he's so awesome. Might be a good move, Corey. We've seen that mean streak on occasion, and it usually serves them as well. Able to elude it. Boom! What a drop kick on the mark. Moonsault. You really have to be confident in your athletic ability to pull off a standing moonsault like that. He's lost some of his win now. McDonough looking to inflict as much pain as possible with that attack. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. just to keep his opponent off back. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. Miz with the snap, man, not done yet! Big boot! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. delivered back into the ring. Single leg knee strike from the Miz. Miz never missing a chance to put the spotlight. And picks up a monumental victory. Here is your winner, The Miz. The Miz comes out on top of the win. And Miz proving once again why he's on the A-list and why everyone else isn't even in the alphabet. Don't let Miz hear that. His ego's already big enough. Superstar is going to maybe shake hands to start things here. Always oh, good to see. Always good to start off a match with some good sportsmanship. Uh, oh, it's even better to start a match with a little disrespect. That's not right. Byron, is this what you would consider mind games? Well, it sure seems like it. I'm not sure it's going to work, though. Match underway now, and as we just saw, there's already some tension here between these superstars. Respect is earned, not just handed out, Cole. There's no reason to expect it right out of the game. Maybe this match ends with a change of heart. Maybe it doesn't. But you can't just expect things to be all sunshine and rainbows heading into a competitive matchup. Counters that. Oh, my goodness. What an impactful STO. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. Oh, are you kidding me? Back of his neck. That's a prime example of pulling out all the stops towards a victory. It just goes to show you, sometimes you've got to dig deep to compete. Time and time again, we've seen how unpredictable Johnny Gargano can be. Corey, that's got to throw a wrench in Balor's game plan, no? I don't think it does, Cole. As cunning as Balor is, we're all aware how adaptive he can be. The Prince will certainly throw everything he has at Gargano. Finn 
turns it around. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, right across the throat. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. Sharp blow to the neck. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. On the leg sweep and now into the out. He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. attack here on Johnny. Johnny needs to decipher a solution to this situation fast. He's one step ahead there. Quick exchange of counters there. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? This match is brutal. He can end it here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Countered with the knee to the face. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Uh-oh. I think I know what's about to happen. Super kick hits the mark. And now Finn is clearly in pain after that move from Gargano. Barely kicks out. The end was in sight. Oh, man. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gap. The cover. And he powers out. He thought he had it. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper-extend your elbow. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Look out! Tremendous drop kick. Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. He moves just in time. He's in a bad way, guys. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Garga Johnny Gargano. It's locked in. Gargano escape is locked in. It's and he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Oh, Gargano's been busted open. Up and down. Standing sheer noise. Competition, and I would say they absolutely just did. I don't know if I'd say I loved it, but I won't deny that they successfully got into their opponent's head here. That was what you call a statement win, gentlemen. They just put the whole locker room on notice. Respect is earned, not given. Hell, you can even try and take it.
Rhea Ripley is here, and everyone else better run for cover. The Eradicator ready to annihilate the entire women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia. The NXT UK Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley! Ripley may just be one of the most intimidating presences WWE has ever experienced in either division. She strikes pure, unbridled fear straight into the hearts of her opposition. Yeah, it's almost impossible not to second-guess yourself when you're taking on Rhea Ripley. She can just seem unstoppable at times. I think Ripley has done all she can to cultivate the aura of fear. There's a mental aspect to her game that you can't overlook. Ripley seems more than happy to get things started. Welcome to the ball pit. unique women superstars in history, but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. I'm watching her body language, and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. It looks like Shotzi is ready to get this show on the road. Ready to go all out, ready to go balls to the wall. Shotzi throws caution to the wind every time that bell rings. And tonight, should be no different. Shotzi certainly as fearless as they come. We'll see if her crash and burn style pays off for her tonight. And across the ring with a cold and unnerving look on her face is Rhea Ripley. Now, Rhea shows no concern or remorse for her fellow superstars in the ring. She bulldozes right through anything that stands in her way. Well, personally, I respect Ripley's unwavering. Can she do it here? And a kick out. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Look at this, just what a barrage of stomps. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. And that one, maybe not. She powers out immediately there. Not a very effective pin attempt. Oh, a step up in Zagari, right in the ear. In the past matches, we've seen how merciless Rhea Ripley can be in the ring, and you have to wonder if we'll see her use the same brutal approach here tonight. Uh, I sure hope so. Ripley almost always showcases a callous disregard for her opponent's well-being. This into the cover. Demoralizing attack. 
attack on Shotzi there. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Face first off the knee. Ripley with an opening to go high. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Straight impact on the throat. Oh, oh! Double leg drop. Jeez, driving headbutt. Oh, man, what a leg drop. face again. And that attack might have put Rhea in check. Shotzi will be dangerous if she can keep dishing out offense like that. Sit down, power bomb. You have to quick can she keep her down. One, two, three, it's all over. Rhea Ripley gets it done. Here is your earning a big win here. Perhaps she has to reevaluate her approach next time. I don't think Shotzi puts that much thought into her approach. Oh, the big dog is in the building. This is going to be a war of attrition. Two of the hardest hitting superstars WWE has ever known. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Herman Reigns! Oh, Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns have consistently pushed each other to the limit. But tonight, you can see the focus. You can see the intensity in the eyes of Roman Reigns, who is determined to protect his yard here tonight. Roman is well aware that he's going to need every ounce of focus, every bit of intensity that he can possibly muster, because Reigns is well aware of the challenge that Drew McIntyre poses. Like a hardened soldier, Marching to another battle. Roman Reigns has his game face on, and he is feeding off the energy of the WWE Universe. He can't make a mistake, or McIntyre will dissect him. He's got to have a flawless game plan here tonight.
The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. Sword. Drew McIntyre is a dangerous, dangerous man. McIntyre is as physical as it gets. He is not afraid to get down in the dirt or throw hands. Defiant, bold, Drew McIntyre bows to no man. He is as in your face as they come. A mass of man ready to go to war. There's a lot of attitude in the ring tonight with Drew McIntyre staring down Roman Reigns. Two guys who have a history of punishing and physical clashes. Well, it's hard to avoid butting heads when you're two of the most dominant players in the game. I think it's fair to say that both Drew and Roman are in the hunt for being known as the best WWE has to offer. You're not wrong, Corey. Both of these guys have stacked resumes, but they each want to be known as the undisputed best. An accolade one of them might get a step closer to earning here tonight. Crash landing powerbomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Look at this, just unloading. Producing a trampling. Delivering nasty stumps. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The fight got taken straight to McIntyre there. Nap time on the island of relevancy. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Absolutely planted. Goes into the pin. Stops the count before it, too. Close call, but not enough yet. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Downright savage club right there. Oh, with authority. Oh, yeah. Ooh, slows that down with a well placed kick. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. Big forearm. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. Capitalized nap time on the island of relevancy. Oh, just tap out. Just tap out. Nick. He's finally desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Wow, belly to belly. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Uh-oh, hits him with the counter. Uh-oh, Borg going to cut off the wind. Oh, guillotine choke. It looks like the Scottish warrior is beginning to fade. Michael Cole, will he tap out? Mac, and hey, watch this. Letting him free? Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Mm. Oh, watch this. Look at the power and the strike. And the inverted him. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Oh, man. That's the good stuff, yeah. 
From the middle rope. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. He skirts around it. And a series of vicious stomps. Oh, impressive counter. With the Lariat. And Roman getting stuck with even more offense. Yeah, McIntyre putting as much power as he can behind his offense. McIntyre preparing to destroy Reigns. Kick to the gut. Arms hooked. Future shot. DDT. That is what it takes to topple Reigns. Reigns kicks out at two and nine tenths. The Tribal Chief stays alive. And now McIntyre's at a loss as his mind races to rethink his attack. Reigns turns that around. He's not gonna be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Wow! Able to get out of the way. Bam! Toughest matches I've ever seen, and he deserves to celebrate this victory. Hang on, look out behind you. This superstar just realizing who's here, and we've got a, a tense stare down. The Almighty is here. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds. The Almighty Bobby Lashley. The Almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. An incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. And his opponents, first from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Not content with being the right hand anymore, Jey Uso has set out on his own path. And it's a particularly treacherous path these days. There are a lot of men who have a grudge with his actions in the bloodline that are not easily forgotten. Jey Uso is intent on proving himself to those competitors in the entire WWE Universe.
Already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. Look at the eyes pivoting on each of these three competitors in this triple threat match. Action underway now with Bobby Lashley, Jay Uso, and Drew Gulak. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. A brief instance of teamwork here, but how long is it going to last? Follow away slam with the bridge. Big double axe handle. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm locks. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, smashing the jaw. Quick thinking from Lashley. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Oh, right in there. Uh-oh. It's Triple threats are so mentally and physically draining. How do you keep the pressure from getting to you, Corey? In a triple threat, you have to play offense and defense at the same time. If you want to make it through, you got to have real mental toughness and just trust your instincts. There's no time to think. Kick in the midset. Uh oh. Steer clear. Boom. Running FTO. Plants. Nicely done. And I'm sure Jay's bloodline didn't like what they saw there. Lastly, put some serious hurt on that one. And the referee stops the count before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Super kick! Shoulder tackle! Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance! Power slam! Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Well, that'll do some serious damage. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. From the second rope. Sunset flip! Wow. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Jay out of there in a hurry. What's he being put in? Set right into the corner, paying it right back with a reverse. Uh oh. Uh oh. Evades their offense. Jay Uso feeling confident, not backing down even a little bit here. He can pin his opponent right here. And there's the breakup. 
just in the nick of time. Boom! Draw after that one. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. And look at from back suplex. Very nice. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they're showing us why right now. The pain and punishment it really builds in these type of matches. Jay, his lights are off. Elbow drop. Piercing. Look at this. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. A kick out of two. Almost inhuman at this point. Taken down with a chop block. Had it scouted. snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's got to do to put him away. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, He's able to fend off the attack. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, jeez. Blame the rubber. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He finds a counter for Gulak. Looks like he knows that he who laughs last is the one with the sledgehammer. Targeting the throat there. He's looking shaky at best now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. A warning and a challenge from Gula. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Drew Gulak to Gula. Drew Gulak with a Gula. Rolls through, nice escape. Catches the kick. Dragon screw. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila sunrise. Whoa. Oh, look, able to free the arm and roll out. Great escape. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Down on the wind pipe. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Gulak saves himself. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. And Jay reverses. Moved with the point of the elbow. Shoulder tackle. Triple threat match. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The WWE Universe showing appreciation as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did.